I love politics. It's my version of sports. The way some people feel about football or baseball or hockey or soccer, it's how I feel about politics. Weird, I know. One thing I always notice and one thing that people always tell me is that when I ask them, why don't you like politics? And they counter with, why do you like politics? One thing they always tell me is that it's just too confusing or it's just so petty or it's just so politics. To which I have to say, well, why don't you vote? <laughs> why don't you change politics to something that you'd like to see? Because that's just the sort of double-edged sword of this country. We all want to see politics change. We all want to see new blood in Congress or in the White House. And we all want to see new laws passed that benefit us, the citizens. But we fail to realize that all we have to do is press vote on voting day. And hey, all of that will change. President Obama, back in February, gave a town hall, and the town hall was mostly about immigration. But there was this one moment, and I loved this moment of the town hall, because yes, I did watch the town hall, where he said that the last election cycle, so 2014, saw a 72-year low in voting records. Last year, only one-third of eligible voters actually got off their ass and went out there and hit vote. He said, if you want to see change, and if you want something to be done, all you got to do is vote. Vote the way you want, and maybe you'll see change. Everybody can vote. If you're over 18 and you fill out the paperwork, you can vote. Hey. <laughs> and it's really not that hard following politics. You just kind of got to know what it is you're listening for, and that's what this is all about. <laughs>